Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Akudaikan games for the Sony PSP. Akudaikan is a Japanese expression which refers to bailiffs who oppressed people off a domain or committed a fraud. In these games, you play as these evil lords. You get 8 characters, and you have to do your frauds and extortions before the shogunate finds out and tosses all of the bad deputies. The first Akudaikan game is similar to Monopoly but it has some new quirks that feel useless. You can occupy new castles and defend your own, but there is a catch. The one that attacks always wins. No matter what button combination you do, the one that attacks wins. If you attack, you always win. If you defend, you always lose. Also on the map there are castles, and castles are occupied by two types of daimyo good and evil, and they get random in a castle. If in a castle gets an evil daimyo, the infamy gets doubled, but if in a castle gets the daimyo of justice, then the infamy gets halved, and all places on the map turn into concentric stations, where the only option is to battle. If you win the battle, you get money and your infamy will increase, but if you lose, then you will lose money and be exiled by some villages. And the second one, Akudaikan Maniyuki Seiji no Yaiba, improves upon the first game. The best way to describe the game is to call it Monopoly with minigames. On the board part of the game, I have to make some remarks. Even if you get multiple types of shops you can open in your occupied spaces, you can't really feel any difference between them, aside of the different look of the shop. The game ends when you become bankrupt, or when the turns end, and the player with the most money at the end of all of the turns wins. On the minigames department, the minigames are rare, dull and clunky. Aside of the castle siege minigame, minigames appear when you land on a tile with P. From here you get into some random minigame and no matter which one you end up playing, it is dull and uninteresting. You also get a boss battle in a game. Overall, the games end up being fun at first, but because they are extremely unfair, with each game they become less fun. Winning isn't the result of strategy, it's the result of luck. There isn't really that much depth in the gameplay, even the shops you open are kinda the same, but with a different paint job. There are different boards in both games, but considering how boring matches end up, the fact that you get multiple boards doesn't help and one match lasts over an hour, and in that over an hour time span, you end up mostly just being a spectator that occasionally presses to roll a dice or play some lousy minigames. There is no strategy to encounter a good daimyo or a justice daimyo in a castle, it's random, which means that it's a game of luck. The game isn't about strategy, it's about luck, and because of these flaws, there isn't that much replay value to the games. Once you've played like 3 matches, you put your game down and never touch it again. But if you were to choose between the two games, I recommend you the second one, because it has minigames. The first one has only the castle defense minigame, which is useless, but the second one has the castle defense minigame plus other minigames, which are lousy but hey, you get minigames which makes the game superior to the first one. Also, and this is just a personal preference, I found the second game more smoother than the first one, and better looking. But this is very subjective. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.